When I was in London last month, I stumbled upon a vegan protest. And then when I was just like looking around, they were showing a video of pigs being gassed and animals being tortured. And one of them tried to convince me to become a vegan. And, he, you know, I'm still eating my meat. And then when I got home, I just decided, why don't I make a video about this? So in this episode today, I'm going to be teaching you why I don't recommend veganism. And before I start this video, I just want to say I'm not forcing anyone to change their habits. I'm not forcing anyone to eat meat. Like, if you still want to follow your vegetarian or vegan diet, I completely respect that. I am just trying to point out why I medically don't recommend it. Number one, it is not necessarily healthier. Now, I get why people say, oh, you should be going on a vegetarian or vegan diet as it can reduce cholesterol. And in this extent, I agree, but you can be you can be eating meat and still reduce your cholesterol. For example, if you reduce the amount of red meat you eat and eat more leaner white meat, such as chicken, turkey, fish, you know, you can still reduce your cholesterol levels. And also, animal fats are more healthier for you. I mean, vegetable oil is highly processed. And and there are certain animal fats that you actually need, such as omega-3, which is actually good for your brain. And guess where it's found? In salmon. Now, not only that, but veganism won't necessarily make you skinnier. I mean, if you eat a ton... Now, you may be on a vegan diet, but if you still eat tons of sugar and unhealthy fats, you can gain weight. But if you're on a meat diet and you eat, like, very lean meats, very lean cuts, you know, you reduce your sugar intake and you eat much more healthier fats, then you can maintain being skinny and still eat meat. Number two, it does not contain all amino acids. Our bodies need a certain amount of protein for cell repair, body maintenance, digestion and hormones. And animal sources of protein contain all nine amino acids. However, if you eat 30 grams of steak versus 30 grams of lentils, they are different. I mean, the vegan option for protein, they do not contain all nine amino acids, which means you can be experiencing certain deficiencies, certain protein deficiencies as compared to eating animal sources of protein. Number three, I hate to break it to you, but it is not going to save the animals. Now, because so the majority of people follow a meat diet, you going on a vegan diet isn't really going to change anything. Even if you decide to go vegan today, and thousands of animals are still going to die for human consumption. I mean, you just got to face the sad facts that animals are still going to die because the majority of us are meat eaters and, you know, the demand is just too high to reduce the amount of animals dying. So, I mean, I can respect that you want to save the animals, but, you know, it's just, it's not necessarily going to. Number nine, veganism is more expensive. Now, I can get why people in certain parts of the world, like New York, London, they can afford vegan products because they've got the money for it. But in other parts of the world, people are absolutely privileged to afford a piece of chicken. And now, with the costs of living in everything you see on the media i say you can save yourself like a few a bit of money if you switch from a vegan based diet to a meat based diet and vegan products are more expensive because they are processed they are made in factories and they're full of chemicals but meat based products are more natural and they're more friendly for your body as well i mean you are what you eat that's what they say Again, I don't I have nothing against people who are vegan and I'm not forcing anybody to follow a meat based diet. I mean, if you're still following the vegan diet and you disagree with me, then I absolutely respect that. I mean, I'm fine with it, but I am just ranting about why I simply don't recommend it for health reasons and etc etc. And now I hope you've enjoyed today's video or not, but I'd appreciate it if you'd comment, like, and subscribe, you know, comment whatever you want. I mean, whether it's mean or friendly, but anyways, I hope you guys have a nice day and please stay tuned for more content.